We've been talking football at yes, the start of the football season. I thought we could chat with a former free uh, uh, free safety of the Princeton Tigers. Princeton How about that? Tigers. And so nice. many acting credits, and I looked this up. I actually did 30 seconds of research. Like Lovebirds, my friend was in that. Christy Swanson was in that. And there's another uh, movie, Greatest Coach of All Time. We're not going to say who else was in it because that's coming up later. But many think of this guy as the ultimate. He is Superman. Let's welcome to the show, Dean Kane. Dean, how are you? I'm great, Randy. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I appreciate your time. Uh, tell me, how did that conversation go? And I know we're going to talk about quite a few things in the next eight or ten minutes. Uh, you get the phone call, hey, would you like to play Superman? <laughs> well, it wasn't just an out-of-the-blue phone call. There was tons of auditions going all through that stuff. But when I finally got it, I'll tell you what, I was uh, elated completely elated but also you know there's a bit of trepidation there like i hope i can pull this off and uh i uh it was a great way to start my career can't be any more happy and i still love being associated with the character so um it's a it's a blessing that continues to this day Hey, you just answered, you know, what I was going to ask as well, because, you know, I've talked to a lot of people and, you know, there's plenty of actors. Hey, don't associate me with which should <laughs> arguably be their biggest role. And some do and some don't. So I like the fact that, that you do like to be uh, known as what you are known as Superman. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, that's I, I don't my, my mom will call me that. <laughs> I'm like, Mom, come on. You're my mom. <laughs> yes, but I gave birth to Superman. Okay. Okay, Mom. <laughs> so so but, that uh, makes her super I, mom. It makes her super Oh, you better believe it. And she owns that crown. No <laughs> question about it. But I was going to say, um, I, did, I was a free safety at Princeton, but I also um, got over to the NFL for a minute um, with the Buffalo Bills. Um, so I, I got all the way to the show and uh, did, didn't then, of course, got hurt. So that didn't get to, didn't get to hang on for long, but... But I so really, are you uh, are you are you still a Buffalo fan, or are you a fan of of another team as well, or what? Buffalo Buffalo Bills top, uh, and they look great this year. I have them as the odds on favorite to win the Super Bowl. I know, I know. There's the Tampa Bay Bucks. I know there's Kansas City. I know there's a lot of teams running around. I also like the Cowboys because my buddy was the head coach for nine years, nine and a half years. So, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's gotta be it's gotta be the Bills, my friend. All right, so you're a former Buffalo Bill and you're a Buffalo Bill fan, but have you gone through a table yet? <laughs> the Bills Mafia boys, those guys are crazy. They They're are awesome, but good gosh, uh, I'm gonna have to set it up very carefully before I go through a, a table because uh, it can get ugly. Well, you know, we we broadcast nationally out of uh, Tampa, St. Pete, Florida, you know, the wrestling capital of the world. We can get it set yes. up. We can go through a table or two down here. Oh, yes. I was I was just out there. I'm always out in that area. Um and and people were trying to talk me into moving there. So, I'm, you know, my son's my son's on board. It might happen. Well, this is the place to be, I'll tell you what, between the fishing here and we're uh, connected with fishing captains, we can take you out fishing, and I know Matt's going to now jump in and offer you uh, some pizza here at the pizzeria. Oh, yeah, because Superman has to eat pizza. <laughs> no, you better believe it. I accept immediately. So, so Dean, so uh, <laughs> a, a, a good friend of ours, a friend of the show, uh, was in a movie with you here in Tampa Bay, the greatest coach of all time. What part of Don't Bring That Up Yet? I didn't talk about it. Well, you brought it up because I have a surprise coming oh, in a couple do. minutes. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. You already blew it. Well, no, I was just asking, you know, like how often you get down to the area. I know you film, you know, at, at the Sun Lake High School and film some of the movie down there. And uh, what do you thought of the area? Obviously, we know now that you love it down here. Oh, it's gorgeous. And I shot a, I shot a, uh, a bunch of things in the Tampa area, probably four or five projects in the last three years. And um, it's just beautiful. I keep ending up back there you know, over to Clearwater or to... Uh, um, uh, what's the Dunedin? Um, all, all up and down there, and then, then back and forth to Tampa. I'm just uh, I've spent a lot of time there. <laughs> well, yeah, you're, you're right. You you need to get a house. Yeah. Uh, jumping back to football real quick, as a former defensive back, can can you explain how Rondé Barber's not in the Hall of Fame yet? Boy, the Hall. Well, did you see Deion Sanders go after the Hall of Fame the other day. He was, no, I didn't. You know, there should be like there should be a separate like like the top team. Hall of Fame. It should be that. It should be like on the top floor. You know, there's too many people running around with that yellow jacket now. <laughs> you say, you know, some people that, you know, you know, oh, great players. Oh, I like it. I, I agree. I like it. You know, and I've said that on, on this show numerous. It's it's now become the Hall of Pretty Good. 
And and I That's say it, it, and Matt will say this like I hate the word because it's overused, legendary or legend or iconic, because that should only be for the elites. So I tend to agree with Dion. He's got a good point there. I mean, a lot of my teammates were were, were legitimate Hall of Famers: Bruce Smith, you know, Jim Kelly, Andre Reed. Um, I think they all belong there. Coach Coach got made it as well. Um, Marv Levy. Um, Thur- What's that? And Thurman Thomas. Oh, Thurman, 100%. Oh, I didn't even say Thurman. He was my rookie, my, my, my locker mate, because he wore number 34. I was number 36 right next door. Uh, um, well, and maybe, I thought, maybe. that's Thurman Thomas, man? <laughs> I don't know if he'll be, I don't know if he's going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> you give him some <laughs> advice, like how not to lose a helmet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was pre, pre-helmet pre loss, but uh, oh. <laughs> what a star. What a great guy. What a great team to be a part of, just to beat him short time out it, there. And what a fun team to watch, you know, and, and oh. you know, go to four straight. And, you know, obviously what happened here at Tampa Stadium, you know, which could have changed everything. But they were so much fun to watch. Andre Reid. Yeah, superstar. So hard to guard. Impossible for me. Are you a fan of other sports? Uh, predominantly, we do a lot of MMA and, and boxing. Are you, are you into any of that or any other sports? Love MMA. Love it to death. I remember going very early on um, to MMA things, like the first time when, you know, when Dana White still had all, he still had hair. Um, <laughs> I love Dana. I love Dana. Um, you know, I've, I've been a fan the entire time. And my son uh, became a jujitsu fighter, so the fight he would he would compete in tournaments. And so we love MMA, and, and I and I box, and we train at an MMA gym where he, you know, my son does his his, his uh, jujitsu. I'll, I'll box. They have everything there. Whatever you want to fight, it's there. It's a down and dirty. Boss Rutten's gym, and Boss Rutten is a superstar. Sure. Don't let him kick you because he'll break I, you. I, I, yeah, you don't want him anywhere near your liver. That, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but, but here, I can that's entice you guy. even a. I can entice you even a little more to come to the Tampa Bay area, and I'm going to get uh, a lot of uh, my MMA and jiu-jitsu friends mad at me. But in my opinion, the best jiu-jitsu trainer and fighter, David Vieira, is, uh, is based here in the Tampa Bay area. So, I mean, I know you don't need my help on this, but I can get you hooked up with David, and you'll never leave once you start training with him. I like it. I, I love it. I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a reserve police officer, and, a, and, and one of my fellow reservists is a, a guy named Hoist Gracie. He's, he's <laughs> nah, I've heard that guy. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> let me put him in a, so, so let me put him in a rear naked choke for about four seconds. For sure. So if you're friends with Hoist, that means you're not going to go to David Vieira. You're going to go to uh, Rob Kahn. Uh, Rob uh-huh. is Hoist Gracie's first American black belt. He's also here in Tampa. Oh, there we go. There we How about go. all those guys? No, no disrespect, but I don't need, I don't need Hoist getting mad at me because he can hurt <laughs> me. I, I don't know if I've ever seen Hoist mad, and that's even in fights. He, he has the death stare, though. And and I was joking with him on the gun range, and we were qualifying on our pistols. And I was his assistant gun. We, we were each other's assistant gunner. And I made fun of him because we were shooting like warm up targets, and we were supposed to shoot this top right little circle. And he didn't hear it, so he shot a different circle. And I was like, "Man, either you put everything inside that circle, or you shot the wrong target." He's like, "What?" I said, "You shot the wrong target, man." And he got he's like, "What?" And so he goes, we go through the whole thing, and uh, he shoots a hundred percent qualifying. And I'm like, sweet. He goes, it's because you challenged me. I was like, I didn't challenge you, man. You just shot the wrong target. What are you talking about? But he's so that, intense. He is, is a competitor. And, man, that, 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 that thousand yards there, I, I, I don't want to be on the other end of it. By any chance, have you ever been to Gracie Baja in Rio? No, I have not. I have been to Rio, but not to Gracie Baja. It is crazy. I went down there to train with David Vieira, and we went to Gracie Baja, and it, it was like 150 black belts all in unison doing things. It was like the fourth floor of this health club. Uh, if you ever get a chance to, to pop in there, it is definitely incredible and worth seeing. I will have to place my testicles in a jar before I go in there because I don't <laughs> have them anymore. Just seeing all those guys. I mean, 100 black belts. Yeah, good Lord. It, it was insanity. Yeah. So, so Dan, <laughs> look, we know the Superman suit can be, you know, unforgiving. You know, like I, I invented the pizza diet, so I know firsthand, you know, what it takes to stay in shape. But is what's your kryptonite food? Like, what is the one thing you just can't say no to? Randy earlier admitted his was Reese's peanut butter cups. 
But what Ooh. what is it uh, for you? It's not Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> it's 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 uh, French fries. Or honestly, good more than more than French fries. It's potatoes, but it's it's potato chips. Oh my god. I could crush a whole bag without even blinking. <laughs> Any particular flavor? <laughs> no flavor. That's the weird thing. The, my ah. thing refers to me as a serial killer when I eat these. They're, they're no flavor. <laughs> and they're no All right, so I, like, I, I, I add unsalted, some... no flavored. I can't stand flavored potato chips. I will throw them out. Oh, well, now we know what to have laying on the table on unflavored chips. Yeah. So I had this thing all set up, but as you probably know, Michael Clayton is now a high school football coach. So Amazing. I was going to set this whole thing up. I called Mike last night. who's a friend of the show. And my question to you with Mike on the line was going to be, how do you locate and evaluate talent like uh, Michael Clayton that was in uh, that movie with you, uh, Greatest Coach of All Time? <laughs> but he doesn't get to hear it because he didn't answer the phone. Ah, oh, Michael. Well, I'm glad I never had to guard him. Um, I, you, you, superstar. Super, the people don't realize how good players have to be to be in the NFL. People just don't get it. Yeah. It's it's a whole other world. The speed, the everything that happens is just crazy. When I first got to the NFL, I saw a couple guys running patterns. I lost my mind. I lost my mind. I was like, I don't, I don't have a clue how that works. I don't have a clue um, how good these 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 ball players are. Um, it's just, I don't know, man. It was a, uh, it was too, it was too much fun. Well, maybe we can get you back on. We'll get Clayton back on, or better yet, when you move here, we can have Clayton and you here at the pizzeria for us to do uh, do the show again. I'm down with that. He, just, he needs to answer his phone. Yeah, exactly. Uh, finally, uh, before we let you go, uh, what are you working on? You know, what what are you doing? In, anything right now other oh, than jujitsu and boxing? A ton, ton. I'm not getting. Any, I'm not getting enough uh, boxing in. Um, and my for me in jujitsu because my uh, my uh, right knee, which I had to retire from football with. Um, if you want to end me, just bend my right knee. <laughs> it's over. Huh? I'll tap. Uh, but uh, I I love I I. I I'll box all day long if I can, but I'm um, I'm shooting movies like crazy. I just uh, wrote, produced, directed, and have a, a coming out a brand new movie called Little Little Angels that we're just selling now, which is awesome. And um, uh, I, I probably shot seven movies this year. I got another one to go shoot in West Virginia uh, at the end of this week, and I, I'm I'm not stopping. It, it's great to be busy. Uh, awesome. UFC uh, Saturday night in, in Salt Lake with Kamaro Usman. Uh, finally, who do you like to watch? Uh, you know, who do you enjoy? Whether it's UFC or bare knuckle, Bellator, whatever. I, I like all of them, but I, I think UFC, UFC obviously takes the takes the cake. I mean, uh, they they become the the preeminent. Um, you know, just they're just phenomenal. Um, but uh, but uh, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a big I like the show. You know, I like the big show, so I, I, I love it when uh, the notorious, you know, the notorious, uh, uh, was he notorious MMA? What's his, what's he go by? Yeah. Conor uh, McGregor. The, yeah, Conor McGregor. The, the notorious MMA. He, I, I, my son loves watching him fight. We've watched him. We've actually watched him with Boss Root and others, um, which is fun. Those guys are talking, you know, a little more technically than I am. Um, but it, it's just it's just great fun. It's I, I, I'm a huge Boss Root and fan. Um, I just... Usman's going to win, by the way, the next one coming up. Was, I watched his brother fight just the other day, didn't yep. I? Yep, you did. And his brother was losing, kind of looked like, and then all of a sudden it was over. Well, most people uh, thought that Zach was going to win that fight. Muhammad did the show uh, three times during the season. And, uh, you know, the odds were in Zach's, uh, you know, corner, also a, a former football player. And, yeah, it, it was pretty close. And then, you know, he threw the one punch, and uh, it was night-night. When you have that kind of power, man, people don't get it. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 for sure. Uh, Dean, I appreciate your time. I think we got your address. We're going to send you and your son uh, some gear from 8 Man Strong. And uh, stay in touch. I follow you on Twitter. Uh, if you get back to town or when you get back to town, uh, you know, let me know. We'll send the limo to get you. We'll do some fishing. We'll come for pizza. We'll, ha we'll have a good time. That does not sound like an awful thing to do. I'm in. <laughs> All right. And I was told that we do have your address. Stay awesome. in touch. Uh, it was a pleasure talking to you, Superman. A pleasure mine, 100%. Thank you.
Take care. Dean Kane, everybody, uh, awesome. be better known awesome. as Superman, and hopefully we can uh, do some cool things with him when he comes to town. Jiu-Jitsu-wise, we'll take him to Rob. We'll take him to David. i got to rename the menu. i got a Superman pizza. i got to call it the Dean Kane. Yeah, the, I think you should do that. All right, let's go ahead and break. When we come back, we'll head back out to Salt Lake City and talk to him. This is a cool story as well. Tyson Pedro, when we return.